Whatever you do in life, you have to be prepared to change, to keep moving on, to keep learning, to keep progressing. If you want people to engage with you, be more passionate about other people than they are themselves. Whether I'm delivering a keynote or running a workshop, whether there's 800 people in the audience or just eight, whether I'm talking about teamwork, leadership, customer service, behavioral change, sales, or self-motivation. My goal as a professional speaker is to work with each individual client to make sure that their event really works for them. Please welcome to stage Mr. Adrian Webster. And when I think about it, the only real resource I had around me in my teams was people like me, everyday people. And together as everyday people, every single day, we had to deliver out of this world results. And to do that, we had to do several things. We had to pull together as one big sharing team, a team based on trust, with everybody taking ownership and responsibility for driving that business forward. We had to be fanatical about customer service, continuously putting customers at the heart of everything we considered doing. And I somehow had to move from being a manager, step into the shoes of a leader, to try and engage and inspire people, to get the best out of my people every single day. Whenever you try to go anywhere or achieve anything in life, there's always a pothole ready to pull you down, to puncture your dreams, to burst your plans. Sleepwalkers do a good job but they're capable of so much more. They started to lose sight of the difference that they as an individual can make. I need everybody in my team moving on together, searching for opportunities together as one team and taking them opportunities every single day. I've always been able to understand people doing incredible things like climbing mountains. But what motivates real people in the real world? To want to get out of bed, to climb their own mountains and really, really try and make a difference. And motivation is all about painting pictures in people's minds. How many of you wonderful people in this room here today, the very moment you left school, set out to do exactly the job role you've ended up doing now? I'm not being funny, 700 people. I cannot see a single hand. If I can leave one thing behind today from my presentation, it is TNTs. They're tiny, noticeable things. These are the things that people see that show you care. They make and break relationships. Bang! These are the things that absolutely annihilate, that destroy competition. Between all of our ears is a pink pulsating blob. It weighs around about 1.5 kilograms. It is the most advanced supercomputer in the known universe. But what makes it so advanced is neuroplasticity. It is the only computer that we know of as yet that can actually build new wires and connections. times have you said to somebody, oh, we just booked a holiday, and they turn around and say, anywhere nice? No, this year we're hoping to go somewhere that's awful. Of course it's nice. More people are choosing to spend it as what I call neg ferrets. Neg ferrets, little warriors of doom. They light up the room when they walk out. Ah, you see, this is changed. This, it feels uncomfy. When we try to do new things, it feels uncomfortable. This is what just beyond the edge of the comfort zone feels like. I read recently a typical four-year-old on average asks 437 questions a day. I didn't know it was so few. They're forever thinking around walls and barriers and obstacles for solutions to problems. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was really good, really, really good fun. <laughs> Kept amazing energy throughout the entire sort of performance, kind of infectious enthusiasm, a few, uh, few gems to take away there and definitely some things to hold on to. Really enjoyed it. 
brilliant. Adrian was excellent, great speaker, um, very motivational, very inspiring. It encourages people to look for the little things in life and that they do make a difference. I enjoyed the conference very much indeed. I've seen Adrian before, but this was better still and um, pitched at the right level for the people we were working with. I'll definitely take a lot from today. Uh, thanks, Adrian. Cheers. <laughs>